Hi, I'm Paul from Urban Forest Consultancy and today I'd like to introduce the Australian standard for the protection of trees on development sites. The reason that this standard was developed was for the protection of desired trees on development sites, whether it be a trench being put in through the nature strip, a new shed getting erected on your property or for new housing developments where they've got existing trees in the landscape that they wish to retain. Part of that process is setting up the structural root zone and the tree protection zone. So the structural root zone is to protect the root area around here so that structural roots aren't damaged during works and the tree protection zone comes out further to around the drip line of the tree and that's a no-go zone. So you don't load it up with building materials, you don't dispose of all your paint wastes and you try and minimise any activity as far as possible in this area. Part of the tree protection is getting your dimensions to work out where your zones are. So for the tree protection zone, we take a measurement at dbh, which is diameter at breast height. We take the reading, and from there, we'll refer to the formula, and then mark out the tree protection zone. For the structural root zone, we take it from the caliper at ground level. So using the same tape, we'll come around and mark out the dimension of that. We'll refer back to the formula and then create the structural root zone. We've taken the trees DBH, referred back to the standard and got our desired dimensions. Measuring from around the centre of the tree, we'll take the tape out to the required dimension and then start marking out our area. And that's our tree protection zone, that's the outer diameter. Inside of this area, we want to refrain from any activities as much as possible. And to help exclude this area, uh, picket fence, the barriers, other means are available to keep the area clean of any kind of impact to the tree's root zone. So much the same as setting out the tree protection zone, now we're going to set out our structural root zone. The structural root zone is a no-go area. We've taken our dimensions, we've worked out the distances, and now we'll just mark out the area. We'll come out to our distance. Now, I'm marking this in red, because inside this area, there is to be no excavations at all. This is your structural root zone, and it's there to protect the integrity of the root system of the tree. Inside that area, you're gonna start coming into problems with tree stability, and viabilities to retain in the landscape. So, red is no. If you have any questions or any thoughts about property development and trees on your sites, please contact Urban Forest Consultancy and let us assist you.